Today I'm going to do on a, a sermon on Jesus praise. And uh, after singing a song at the Passover meal, Jesus and his disciples to the garden called Gethsemane. It was getting to be quite late in the evening, so everyone was resting. Jesus was especially quiet and walked a bit ahead of the rest to the group. The group. He looked as if he was sad and upset about something. He stopped and whispered to some of the disciples, Sit here while I pray. When Then with Peter, James and John, he walked just a little bit further and told them, My heart feels heavy and I feel sad. Please stay here and keep watch. I need some company close by. The disciples looked at each other. They had never seen Jesus like this before. Then Jesus walked down a bit further by himself. Next to a tree he knelt down he face to the ground and began to talk to God. He prayed, My father, I know that I am about to go through some more things. I wish I wouldn't have to, but I, but it isn't. It doesn't matter what I want. I will do whatever you want. When he had finished praying, he went back to where the disciples were to find that they had fallen asleep to the ground. The ground, Jesus, woke them and said to them, Couldn't you have stayed awake for me for just a little while? You should also pray that we will continue to do what God wants. The disciples felt bad and tried to keep their eyes open. But when they started praying, they fell asleep. Two more times, Jesus went to pray the same prayer as before. And when he was finished, he came back to his friends, disappointed to find that they had fallen asleep once again. The third time, Jesus woke them, saying, You are sleeping again. Enough. It's time to go. Here comes a man who is about to give up to the people who want to hurt me. Enough, he was still speaking. Judas, one of the disciples, was coming towards them. He followed by a large crowd of people who were carrying swords and clubs. G- Judas walked right up to Jesus and gave him a kiss on the cheek. This was a Trying to cheat. Preach that this was Jesus and that he was the man that they wanted to arrest. Jesus let them take him, but one of Jesus' disciples didn't. That was what was her. He wanted to stick up for Jesus, took out his sword and cut off the ear of a chief priest. Enough. Now, before the situation got more out of hand, Jesus spoke firmly. Enough. He reached up to the man who had been hurt and it instantly Jesus spoke to all those around him. If you want to, I could pray to my father to help, he would send angels to protect me and stop this. Whoever I know this to happen to finish what he says in the Bible, disciples did not know what to do. They were afraid that they might be arrested for being with Jesus. 
это клинический индийский спидрон, хотел выстрелиться в графон Тизус и выскакал Тифа at a distance, because he was afraid. He wanted to see what would happen to Jesus, to talk to Jesus to a man named Calipus, who was the high priest, a man who made a lot of decisions. This is where all the other important people had gathered. They were trying to find a reason to arrest Jesus, but they had never done anything wrong. People tried to make up bad stuff that they knew wouldn't you honey. He said, ask Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God, and Jesus replied, he was the Son of God, he, 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 he turned off so far because he thought that Jesus was saying was untrue. Thought about Jesus was saying was untrue. These people didn't believe Jesus. That's when they decided they would kill him. Meanwhile, Peter was just outside the building where they had taken Jesus. A servant girl saw Peter and recognized him. <laughs> Wouldn't you, that man named Jesus? But Peter lied and you don't know what you're talking about. Peter started to walk away, but the girl spoke louder so people. I'm sure you are one of the men. I friends for Jesus, and Peter said, No, I don't know what you're talking about. So while uh, more people just think the same thing, he decided to be upset to find it. And he said in a loud voice, I don't know the man you're talking about. I never talked to him. But after Peter was said to this, a rooster, and Peter remembered something which he had said to him, Before the rooster crows, you will turn your back to me three times. <laughs> when Peter did, he was very sad. So it was one of Jesus' children, and now he cried, and he didn't know what. Even now, Peter was crying. How could he have done this to Jesus? Because Jesus was, was a friend to Peter. And Peter was one of Jesus' close friends. He knew he had lied and didn't know. And he says, No, I don't know what you're talking about. How do I? All people has been the same. He's so upset about this, and he did. And he said in a loud voice, I don't know the man and you are talking about. I never talked to him. And that, and that is why, that is why Jesus prays, because he wants to. He doesn't want. I was thinking that that's going to happen to him because it was that he walked no further next to a tree. He knelt down with a face to the ground and began to talk to God. He prayed, My father, I know that I am going, about to go through some good things. I wish I hadn't only had to, but it didn't matter what I want. I will do any does whatever he wants, whatever God wants Jesus to do because he is a man and think we listening and hope that we 
Oh, you do if you are in Jesus' situation. Because Jesus wants us to know that we are loved and we should never lie because it's really wrong to lie. Because Jesus doesn't want to lie. Jesus is a good man. We're all disciples of God. All his sons and daughters. Thank you.